Hi, welcome to the tutorial and the tutorial is about interactive card wizard. In this tutorial you are going to see how to use interactive card wizard and how it works. So before starting the tutorial, take a look at the demo of interactive card wizard. In the content tab, you can see two sections, layout and read more button. Go to layout sections and set image for the interactive card. Also you can set the image size, just you have to click on the drop down. And you can set thumbnail, medium, medium large, full or custom size. If you select customs, you can manipulate the size of image manually now i'm selecting image for the interactive card and for that i'm hitting and i'm choosing this image and hitting on the insert media button you see the image is here I look at the interactive card along with image this card include subtitle title and descriptions and all these things you can add easily. A title adding field. From here you can add title for the interactive card and subtitle from here. And descriptions from the text field. Okay. Now come to title link. If you want to add link to the title you can do that easily. Just you have to click on title link switcher on of options see the title is now linkable when I'm unchecking the title will be link free another important thing is read more button and you can manage this read button just using read more button on of switcher button And you can do the sim similar thing in terms of badge. I'm clicking the button and see the badge. And you can edit the badge. See there is another section named badge. From here you can edit badge. And you can set the badge name. And you can also set the badge position like top left. Another thing offset. Click on the pin icon and set the batch positions horizontally, vertically and you can also uh, rotate the batch. I'm going back to layout section again. And see there is another thing, layer alignment and you can set alignment of the textual content. You can set positions top bottom left and right I'm selecting left image take place in the left position but it's something odd it's looking something odd so what you can do go to I'm clicking on sections and see there is a content width here you can increase the content width Now it is looking better than before. Now I'm going back to the layout sections. And this time I'm selecting the position right. 
now in interactive card you can add wavify effect and see that wavify effect you can also control the effect just you have to click the pane of wavify here you'll find three options bones amplitude and speed In the read mode sections, you can add a read mode text and link to the read mode button. And see the button is now linkable. That's it in content tab. Now I will show you how to style the interactive card. Go to style tab. You see there is a content card sections. From here you can add the background color to the content see what I'm doing here now come to image sections from these sections you can style the image I'm going to this time I'm going to hover mode and clicking CSS filtering from here I'm setting saturation. And see the effect. When I'm hovering the mouse on the image, you will feel the difference in normal mode and hover mode. In the title sections, you can add color to the title. subtitle sections these sections will allow you to add color to the subtitle in text section you can add color to the text finally come to the read more sections see there is attention switcher on off option if you enable this switcher you'll find the attention effect of button now come to text color from here you can add color to the read more button Now come to hover mode. From here I am setting the background color. And see the hover effect. So at the end, hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial. Most importantly, if you face any problem using interactive card widget, you can contact our support forum. And thanks for watching.